to Axel's Kitchen. We're going to talk about pizza tonight to start off our pizza review series because we did our first pizza review the other day, right? And it worked out pretty good, but we realized that there's a lot of, of issues with pizza and lingo and different types of pizza that not everybody knows. And because I'm a big fan of watching pizza reviews, I, I noticed people referencing pizza wrong, I would say, because we're New Yorkers and if anybody knows about pizza, it's going to be the New Yorkers. I don't care, Chicago, it's different, it's not pizza. You can say that before, right? It's, it's, New it's what? New York pizza is the best pizza. New York pizza is the best pizza? It is the best pizza. That's but, you know, they say, pizza. now they say New Haven, Connecticut's got good pizza too, but that's different. What we're talking about is, is just general pizza. So what we got is, and it doesn't make a difference where, because we're not reviewing tonight, we're just talking, it's all about pizza. So we got our three, what we have here is our three basic pizza types that we got from a local pizzeria and in New York and you're supposed to call a pizza place or a pizza restaurant or a place where you get pizza, you're supposed to call it a pizzeria. That's the term. And when you order a pizza, right, you start off, this is your basic pizza. Neapolitan. This, right, Neapolitan. Right, and it's it's got crust, right? Now, this part here is the crust and the bottom is also called the crust. Some people call the bottom the dough or the bread. But it's it's both crust. But when they're talking about like, oh I eat pizza but I don't eat the crust, they mean they don't eat this part. Right? Because some people don't eat the crust, they leave the crust. I like the crust. I save it for the end, I like the crust. Remember when we were in high school, we used to save the crust for later on in the night and then eat the crust. You put it in the uh, the pocket of your final jacket and then eat it on your way home. To sort of, <laughs> I did to sort of cover the uh, cover up your breath a little bit before you go in the house when I was in high school. Uh, you didn't hear that. Um, but this is this is Neapolitan pizza. It, it derives from Naples or Napoli, as they say in Italy. See, I'm well versed, multi multicultural. Uh, but anyway, this is your regular pizza. Now, if the pizza doesn't have this this crust on, on it, th th this part here, this crust. Then it starts to get on the fufu pizza, right? So a regular Neapolitan pizza is supposed to be round. That, let's start with that. It comes in a pie. Right, and, and it's a pie because it's round pie shaped. And when you go into a New York pizzeria, you say, give me a regular pie or a large pie or just a regular pie. And a regular pie is cheese, sauce, round, just like this. That's a regular pie. Right? As the kids say, triangle pizza. Triangle pizza, because it's cut into triangles. Now, they do make Neapolitan-style pizza square. Yep. And people are, have been referencing that as square pizza, right? Have you had square pizza that's this kind of pizza? No. no. And i also seen people get a round pie, but they cut it, like, in squares. Oh, yeah, they cut it in squares, which is no good, because then you don't have the crust on the end to hold it, right? Because that's the handle. And, uh, you know, a guy at work actually says to me, he goes, well, what's the top of the pizza and what's the bottom of the pizza? Or the front and the back. They call this the point, people right. say, and they call this the back. I call this the handle, but I, really it's the crust. Anyway, all right, they have it in squares, Neapolitan pizza in squares, which which sort of gets on the fufu end, but if it's still got a, a nice crust around the end, okay, we'll call it regular Neapolitan pizza, and this is it. Now in New York, you order it, like we said, by the pie, and when you get it, you take the slice out, and you fold it, uh -oh. right? And you fold it, and generally speaking, I like it best when, it, when it's standing up like this, right? Okay. That means that the bottom is done. You can see it's got a nice brown on it, but it's not burnt. Uh, maybe you get a little couple of little char marks on the bottom. That's good like that. A lot of times, they'll really soggy or really drip down, all right? But you're going to fold it. Uh, remember Dave from Texas told us he saw people folding pizza like a taco. That's the way he described it. Except but, you eat a fork and knife. No, yeah, but New Yorkers don't eat pizza with a fork and knife. Some New Yorkers do. If you eat pizza with a fork and knife, there's something wrong with you. I don't, but some people do. You know what? Those people are wrong. They're uh, wrong. If you eat pizza with a fork and knife, you're wrong. Who eats pizza with a fork and knife? NK. Because NK is from Atlanta or St. Simon's Island. What, what are they? Georgia, no, where's Savannah? Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. Yeah. Well, they, they don't know pizza in Savannah. All right? You don't eat pizza with a fork and knife. You eat it with your hand. And a regular Neapolitan 
slice, or as the kids call it, a triangle. You fold it like a taco. If you want to call it a taco, it's fine, and you eat it. If you can't eat it with one hand, there's something wrong with it. You got to do this to eat your pizza and to balance it, right? There's, there's something wrong. You should be able to one hand. The Everybody grease, agree with that? should end up in here. Right. Right. Some people actually, what they do is they take a, have you ever seen this? They take the napkin, right? And they, they put the pizza on the napkin, and then they tuck, right, like this. That makes sense. And then they fold it like that, and now they're going to eat it because now anything is going to drip into there. Right, all the oil drips down your All the oil drips into there, right? But that, and it's starting to soften up, as you can see, as we keep talking. But that's a, a nice slice of pizza. All it's got on it is sauce, right? Probably some olive oil and some, some olive. sauce, cheese, and a little oregano. Right? That, that, that's pretty much your basic slice. And when we do our reviews, we're going to do just basic, right, basic slice. No toppings or anything like that because that gets too crazy. All right? And then now, your other staple, which, which when you start traveling, and we do travel a lot, when you start traveling, a lot of pizzerias don't have this style pizza. is Sicilian, right? So this one, Neapolitan from Naples, the Naples area. And then Sicilian from Sicily, right? It's a thicker pizza, right? My favorite. Very airy. It is. It's airy because in, I believe, now some people said it was different dough, but I believe it's the same dough that they're using. This one, they really push it out with their fingers and they spin it and they flatten it and they get all the air out of it. And that's what makes it flat. This one, when they put it in, they actually cook it in a pan to start off with. And they only do it with their fingers and it seems like they leave a lot of the air in it. That's why it's probably uneven on the bottom. And then, yeah, and then on the bottom, and then after they cook it pretty much all the majority of the way, then they pull it out of the pan and put it back in the oven without the pan, and you get a nice, a nice char on it. Some people call this burnt. I've seen some reviews where they say, oh, it's burnt on the bottom. That's not burnt on the bottom. That's perfectly done, right? And same thing. It's got some olive oil, sauce, and cheese, right? The cheese, how do you, what kind of cheese is that? What's it out? What's it out? Well, mozzarella, depending on where you're from, but it's definitely not provolone, no. right? You don't put provolone on pizza, you don't put cheddar on pizza, you don't put any other Swiss on pizza, you put mozzarella. And parmesan on top, Some people do. They like to put a little parmesan cheese on top, or some Romano cheese, or a mix, or some crushed red pepper, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, things like that. I like a little garlic powder, um, but we're talking about regular pizza. This is Sicilian. Now, Sicilians, Sicilian pies, Right? We still call them a pie, yeah. even though it's square yeah. or rectangular. Are they square or rectangular? They're squares, right? They're squares. In a real pizzeria. Yes. Lately, I've seen some pizzerias so are making them rectangular and they're getting 12 slices instead of nine. 12, yeah, 16. Right? No, you get eight. You get oh, eight well, instead of 12. Luigi does that, right? Yes. Luigi does that. Yeah, they're making them a little smaller. And the box is very skinny. Yeah, they're making them like rectangular shape and you're only getting eight instead of 12. Where <laughs> Where a Sicilian pie would be this whole box, yeah. and it would be 12 slices. So you get four corners. So corner you get a double handle, because you get a crust, right? Crust, 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 and then you got your I call them ends. What do you call them? Sides. Sides, Sides or ends. We this would be one. We only get a crust this would be like in the on one end, and then you get a couple of pieces in the middle that have no handle, which I'm not really crazy about that, because they're hard to grab because you don't have a a nice handle. Um. For some reason, even though we're, we're, we're going to go with the same same sauce, same no, no different no, sauce. No, I you think there's different sauce on this one. Well, you think it's different on the grandma? We didn't get to the grandma. Yet. Grandma yeah. too, but it's different. All right. it, it tastes more garlicky, doesn't it? Yes. Then what's the pizza with regular crushed tomato? Uh, and we're not tomato. talking about that. It's not regular pizza. That's fufu pizza. Oh, okay. All right, we're talking about regular pizza. So Sicilian, it's got a different flavor. It could almost be like 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 pasta, right? Yeah, right we're a different shape, sort of like it's on its own little different kind of texture and flavor, but it's got a definitely a different texture, which tends to a different flavor, and some people, like my wife, like this the best. I like the good old standby the best. What do you like the best? Uh, I feel like I would like that the best. Emily? I, I like both of them. Though. Anything to contribute to that? I like Sicilian. You like Sicilian. Okay. It and then... On, it depends on where it's from. Okay, it depends on where it's from. That's a good point. Yeah, it does I depend because some some places that you go to, some places, this is what you're gonna get at that place. So this is what you're gonna get at that place. I um I would get a regular 
I like regular when it's like fresh, but I like Sicilian when it's um, reheated Reheat. in the toaster oven. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we got the grandma. Right? Now the grandma, I recently learned that grandma originated right here where we are in New High Park. Right? At Umberto's Pizzeria in New High Park on Jericho Turnpike. Now the grandma pie is a thinner crust Sicilian. And the original grandma, I think, is a little bit of an upside down, right? They put some cheese in and they put the sauce down. Yeah, not a lot of cheese. Right. right? So they, it's a thinner crust Sicilian, and it seems to be a little bit more garlicky. Yes. Yes. Because it's, it's like crushed, more fresh crushed tomatoes than an actual sauce. Because see how it's not right, yeah. across across. Um, and that's the grandma. And this has, got, this has got a different flavor. It's nice. Same thing. It comes... Square, so you got your end pieces or your sides, you got your corners, and then you got your ones in the middle that are hard to grab. Again, it's not as airy and charry on the bottom as a Sicilian is. Um, different flavor, different style. And we're going to review these also. These are your three main types of pizza. Anything that's got a thinner crust than this is really getting on the line of foo foo pizza. Now, there's some coal oven and brick oven pizza that gets, that gets thin. Right, but they still has a nice crust. So we're gonna call that regular pizza, right? This is a, a regular New York style pizza, and that's what we're gonna review is regular pizza, right? Grandma's, that's what we're gonna review is grandma's and Sicilian. That's what we're gonna review is Sicilian. Would Eddie's be regular? Or and, would no, be Eddie's would be foo foo because there's really no crust on, on the end, and oh, e even a really thin coal oven pie, has a bit right? Like our first review, which you'll see in a, in a week or so, which is um, Patsy's, which is a coal oven. Still had a little crust, and that was right on the border. Right? It was like a flare up. Yeah, it was, a, it was right on the border between foo foo and traditional pizza. So we're going to put it in both categories, I think. The foo foo pizzas really are those personal pizzas that are like they call them artisanal, and they got, you know, arugula on it, or no, that's just crap on a regular pizza, buffalo chicken pizza, and shit like that. Um, the foo foo pizza is more of a, a real thin crust without, without, a, without a nice edge. That, that all the I had bruschetta pizza tonight. But was a regular pizza with bruschetta? It was it's basically a grandma slice. See, that's not fufu though. With that's, no sauce or cheese. That's a grandma bruschetta slice. But it's no sauce or cheese. It's not grandma. Which is like eggplant. Is like it's a grandma slice with eggplant and parm on top. Yeah, but that's the, what I'm saying is that the basic pizza underneath it is is, is, is one of these basic threes. Right? right? When it gets outside of these basic threes, it gets foo foo -ish. It's the new, you know, it's the hipster shit and stuff like that. So, the other thing is buy the slice. Right? We talked about this the other night. Um, when you buy a, a whole pizza, it's a little soggier than when you get a pizza by the slice. Now, we watched some reviews, right, where, where people saw the, they went into a pizzeria and they saw all the pizzas like in the glass. And he said, oh, that, you know, why would you want the old slice in the glass? Well, that old slice in the glass, when they throw it back in the oven. That's the best slice. That, right, it, that's the best slice because he... Like Emily said, she likes her Sicilian reheated rather than fresh. Yeah. So, and when you reheat it, it, it gives it an extra little crispness and crunch. It, it's really good. And the char that I didn't have before. And New Yorkers know, when you go into a pizzeria, if you can't buy it by the slice, it's usually not as good as places where you can buy it by the slice. Yeah. You should be able to go and get a slice... Or two slices. Saturday Night Fever, right? You went into the window, right? Right on the sidewalk. Remember that movie? Old yes. lady? Yeah. Yes. We can't eat slices of pizza from a window. Why not? Depending what state you're in. Depending on what state you're in? <laughs> yeah. Nashville. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. We did get really, really bad pizza from a window in Nashville. But, um, and we're going to review that place. Yes. Because we're going back in April and we're going to review that place. But, um... We're going to go back so that we, we can get the, the, the look on your face when you fit into that, that Nashville <laughs> well, window, window pizza. <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning wasn't even good. <laughs> so, your three basic slices. Um, buy the slice, definitely the best. When you go in and you say, just give me a, a regular slice. Give me a Sicilian end or side, you get this. Right, give me a grandma corner. You don't have to say cheese pizza. Can I have a large cheese pizza? No. Anybody that asks for a cheese pizza is not a real New Yorker. You don't want to give me cheese pizza. All right? So that's all about pizza. If you have any comments, come on, let us know what you think. This is our personal uh, review of 
of What Pizza is Like in New York, and hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for future episodes. We're going to do a lot of pizza reviews because we like going and get pizza at different places. And we're not going to rank them on a 1 to 10 because it's very difficult. Because some pizza is really good and you bite into it and you're like, wow, that's really good. Um, I think it's more of the surprise. Like when you bite into a slice, like I did the other night, I bit into that second slice, you could see it on my face and it was like, wow, this is good. Well, you could see it on my face saying, oh my god, it's disgusting. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly the other way. Like this is so no, 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 that oh, was like the national pizza show. shit. Oh, okay. But the problem is, where do you go? If, if if you bite into it and it's really bad and you hated it like in Nashville, you say it's a one, the lowest it could be. Where do you go from there if you have find something more disgusting, right? Nice. And if I if I gave that Sicilian a ten, right? Where do I go from there when I find the next Sicilian and it's but then so? You don't the call taste it a light. Light. So what we think we're going to do is compare it to the place before, right? So we did. Like the other night, we did Sicilian, right? And now the next place that we go for Sicilian, we could compare it to the Sicilian we had before, and and really, it's it's it really the bottom line is that bite and that look on your face and sort of like my the peach the peach cobbler, right? It was peach cobbler in yes. Virginia, yeah. right? You took one bite of that peach cobbler and you knew. Yeah. So that's all about Pizza and Axel's Kitchen. Hope you enjoyed our our pizza summary to. To, to sort of kick off our pizza reviews. If you did, give us that thumbs up. And if you like what we're doing here at Axel's Kitchen and Axel's Garage, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.